Okay guys, today we have a Subaru full of lumber, a beautiful blue sky, one very excited rooster. And we'll show you what that all means in just one minute. A little change of pace today, no truck driving or dirt work today. Doing some work at the house. This is a concrete sidewalk we've been wanting to do for a very long time. It's a long time coming. We're super excited to get it going. Here's some stairs coming up from the parking area. Put a nice little radius in the sidewalk leading up to the stairs right there that go up to the porch. Uh, for that radius, all we did was just cut a bunch of kerfs and some plywood and then stake it off at the radius we wanted. And of course, it always helps if you have a rectangle, a trapezoid, and a wedge on one section. The more geometry, the better. That's what I always say. And then a couple things down here on the stairs. Made sure to dig out underneath the form board so it forms one monolithic piece when the stairs are poured. And then of course we ripped it at a 45 right there. So we can take a concrete trowel and finish all the way back to the face of the steps. So we'll get some rebar in, we'll get concrete coming, should be here soon. And then we'll go into a little bit more detail about what we got going on in this project. Okay, we just got the steel in. I just wet down the subgrade a little bit with the garden hose. So we are ready to pour. Here comes the concrete now. Okay, so here we are getting started up by the house, starting on this little stair section, I guess you want to call it. A lot of chute raking on this first section. We had four chutes on, and we had a pretty stiff mix in the beginning because we didn't want to run out the bottom of the stair forms. We wetted it up once we got to the main section of the sidewalk, but it wasn't too bad up here. Had an awesome, awesome mixer driver who was a huge, huge, huge help. Couldn't have done it without him. I also have some really good help sitting on the porch up there. Don't want you to think there are a couple of freeloaders or anything. They'd help if they could. I just don't let them help with the actual concrete work. So we'll get this screeded off with a 2x4, move down to the next section of steps, Wetting the mix up quite a bit. Pull the steel up with the rake as we go, of course. Mag it off. All that good stuff. So I'll be quiet. Let you listen to some music as we finish her off. So I'm about to make the worst decision of the day, probably what almost cost me this concrete, because I came really close to losing this concrete. I happen to have a footer formed up around the back side of the house. I'll have another video posted about that footer. It's for a retaining wall, so look for that video to be posted soon as well. But I decide, since he's got some left over, I'm going to go ahead and wheelbarrow that concrete around the back side. It's only three quarters of a yard, but it's like a 50-foot push with the wheelbarrow. You're going to see in the next clip just how out of breath it made me. Okay, so here's what happened. You can see the concrete truck behind me, probably. I'm not gonna lie, that was probably too much for me to do by myself, but we got in the hole, we got it done. I'm sure there's concrete right here. I haven't looked yet. Let me flip you around so you can see the result. Ready, one, two, three, flip. All right. So you can see we got the concrete. Steps, steps, nice, beautiful curve. So I just got that magged off. Jeez, I don't know why I'm yelling. I'm out of breath, I guess. I just got that magged off for now. Um, but. I can't talk for long. I don't want to lose this, so I'm going to hit it real quick, and we'll show it to you in a little bit. So like I said, this thing dang near got away from me. No sooner than I made that last clip, I hopped on it with steel trowel and the edger, and I was already bouncing off rocks with that edger. I had a hard time just getting that edge started. I did not get any good video of me brewing it, but I had to put quite a bit of pressure on the broom to get a decent, decent result on it. You can see what the overall finish of that concrete looked like here in the next clip. Okay, so here's our official chicken inspector making his final pass on the sidewalk. See how it turned out. We're going to have chicken feet in this sidewalk for sure. So you can see the technique I used. I just broom across it 
And then I run the edger one last time. I've always liked that look. I think it gives it a good clean look, good clean lines. Got a couple seams in there where it branches off in a different direction. That radius turned out pretty pretty decent. I'm actually pretty happy with the way that radius turned out. But you can see right there the way I edged, just the waviness in it, how much I was bouncing off rocks and how far ahead of me that concrete got. But overall, not too bad. I was pretty discouraged at this point. Thumbs down from Shadow Cleman. But uh, my enthusiasm picked up a little bit towards the end as we got it finished up. Fun fact. Chickens love nectarines. Look at her go. And I love that this sidewalk is finished. Just got the form boards pulled off the front. Uh, or the faces of the steps, I guess. You can see there's definitely some pits in the face of the steps like I was worried about, but we can get them mixed. We can rub those out, smooth them out, and they'll look just fine. I'm still a little disappointed with the way the top turned out, finished out. It definitely got away from me, but overall, I think by the time we get all the mulch in and the landscaping in, it's going to turn out pretty sharp. And I don't know, I can't uh, help but be a little happy about it. Okay, so as happy as we are with it at this point, I have to admit, clearly I forgot some steps. One of the things I forgot was just to adjust for the weather. We planned on doing this in the fall, so I'd have plenty of time to work with it on a nice cool day. Well, it was fall, September, but it was 90 degrees, it was sun shining, the wind was blowing across it, it took the moisture right off the top, and I didn't do a dang thing to account for that, and that's my fault, probably the main reason it got ahead of me. I also forgot that on colored concrete, which is what this is, it's a cobblestone color, you can't spray water on it if it starts to get away from you, because right there, it takes the color off the top layer. So for that bottom section, some of that color disappeared. I think it'll weather in fine. Chickens seem to love it. Overall, we're happy with it, but definitely some rookie mistakes. So here's a great time lapse just to illustrate how many chickens we have free ranging around the property. It is a miracle. I don't know how, but we did not end up with one single chicken print in this entire sidewalk. So that's pretty incredible. Here's Chelsea and myself just doing a last minute, late afternoon push, trying to get this thing polished up with about 20 bags of fresh mulch, getting the rest of the form boards pulled off, all the stakes pulled, and just everything cleaned up so the project's all finished up and done. Okay, so Chelsea and I just got the mulch in, we got our knickknackeries in, we got the chickens in, we got it all. We got the steps, we got the seams, we got the curves. Do you love it, Chels? I love it. She loves it. I was a little worried about the way it turned out originally, but I think all in all, with everything finished up, it looks pretty dang sharp. We're pretty happy with it. If you guys liked it and you liked the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you get notified when I post more videos. Thanks for watching. Say bye, Chels.